family, Nikki Dillon here, and thank you so much for tuning in to African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure you give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and share the broadcast. Let everybody know that your sister with the curly braids is on right now. Thank you so much. Family, I want you to watch this clip of O.J. Simpson. If any of you all are, all are aware, uh, O.J. Simpson uh, is a world-renowned athlete. Um, well, uh, yes, world renowned after he's done all over the world, but I'm telling you years ago, he got caught up in this, uh, uh, murder case and, um, it just took the, all of America by storm because this is one of the times that they let, uh, cameras in the courtroom. So it just captured the imagination and then it caused a huge divide in the country, uh, uh, as well amongst black and white when he was found not guilty. But the man, the brother with extraordinary intelligence and swag that represented him was a great doctor um, attorney, Johnny Cochran. This clip of Johnny Cochran ha has recently resurfaced. I want you to watch it. Robinson and some really, really great lawyers. I'm going to we're going to try to fashion a strategy to sue for slavery reparations in this country. To bring a lawsuit. It's not the most popular thing everywhere, but that's not the test tested slavery was wrong the government sanctioned and benefited from it you can't have you know two or three hundred years of free labor built to help build the country when you go to washington you look at those mines like the washington mine built by slaves nobody ever got any compensation for that you got to look at it realistically i think the reason i want us to hear this now is because we the black grassroots we independent black media have been demanding and calling for reparations and oftentimes you will hear even some of our own modern black lawyers talk about the difficulty and act like it's absolutely impossible. But somebody who worked inside of the judicial system, who was, extraordinary, who, who was extraordinarily successful at it, is the one that decided he was going to take up reparations. And our brother Johnny Cochran in this clip was talking about some of the high profile and intelligent and powerful other black lawyers that he was going to be working with. Well, how many of you all know that in December of 2003, he was diagnosed with brain tumor. April 2004, he underwent surgery. He stayed away from the media for a while. Shortly after that, he told the New York Post that he was feeling well and was in good health. In March 29, 2005, he out of here. Now, we're not specifically putting, you know, certain information out there and blaming this, that, and the third on, on, on this one or that one. But I find it very, very interesting in these United States of America that a brother of his statue, of his intellect, of his access was willing to take on the United States government and who understood the inner workings of our judicial system better than anybody said, after all that, he was feeling well, doing amazing, and then now he's out of here. Robinson and some really, really great lawyers. I'm gonna, we're gonna try to fashion a strategy to sue for slavery reparations in this country, to bring a lawsuit. It's not the most popular thing everywhere, but that's not the test. The test is slavery was wrong. The government sanctioned and benefited from it. You can't have, you know, two or 300 years of free labor built to help build the country. When you go to Washington, you look at those mines like the Washington Mine, built by slaves. Nobody ever got any compensation for that. You got to look at it realistically, I think. I would like to know which of our black lawyers are going to rise up now and pick up where he left off. I want to know, um, as some of our people have been saying, what type of strategy did he have in mind to successfully sue the United States of America and whatever other entities and individuals he may have been considering? Just a little fool for thought. My name is Vicki Dillard. I can't wait to hear what you have to say below. Be sure to check out my uh, mastermind school at clubvicki.com. The link is below. Be sure to give us a big thumbs up and share. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you again.